Hey there YouTube and welcome to my private signings autograph recap video. I am really excited to show you this. I obviously collect autographs, you know, I collect trading cards. My favorite thing to collect are autograph baseballs and specifically Pittsburgh Pirates autograph baseballs. Even more specifically game used Pittsburgh Pirates autograph baseballs. Everything I have just mentioned to you in this video. They are represented in this video. Seven separate signings, 36 autographs, 30 trading cards, this magazine in the background, and five baseballs. So I'm going to show you the items in the order with which I received them back, which is actually kind of intentional because the first one's the disappointing one, but it's, hey, they did what they could, and this is pretty much just for immature purposes. I even got this one, so very first item I'm going to show you has quite the story behind it. This person, here, we'll show you, there's a baseball coming up, had a private signing, so I sent in a baseball, and this person signed all the baseballs in black pen. So the person putting it on, who is extremely reputable, you know, said he was going to send them out again and took pictures of everything where literally taped blue pens to like every single baseball box. <laughs> and he still signed in black pen. So I said, dude, it's fine. I'm, I'm okay with it. You did everything you could. So that would be Mr. Dick Pole. Yes, I bought this... I got it literally just for the comedic immature value there. So I have Dick Pole in my collection there. Yes, I have a ball that had Dick Pole on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll just let it go at that. Uh, but in all honesty, Todd Schaefer from Under the Radar Sports Promotions did everything right. Um, just this person just didn't follow through and that does happen with private signings but the other six went extremely well this next one was put on by Josh Matthews at five tool signings by the way all of these I learned through a Facebook group called baseball private signings you can also find these and sometimes you know usually some more um, on SCN as well and this is coming from a local person who happens to be a bowler who was a great pitcher as well. No, he's a, he was a great pitcher who happens to be a bowler, Mr. John Burkett. So as you know, my channel name Math Bowler would imply I'm a bowler. And I had this magazine. I was really hoping to get it signed, and I totally just did. That's great. That That is so great for my collection. And there's another reason why I was really hoping to get this. He's a local person town not too far away from me, the town of New Brighton, where if you followed one of my prior private autograph signings recap videos, you would have seen where I got Terry Francona on a baseball signed by Tito Francona with the same inscription as what you're going to see here on the John Burkett baseball, New Brighton Pride. So it's not just signed by John Burkett, but it's also got the New Brighton Pride inscription, which... That's so great. So thank you, Josh, for putting this on. Thank you, John, for making those two items look so nice. This next one is 10 trading cards from Guy Puglia. The price was very reasonable for Al Scoop Oliver. Remember the 71 World Series Pirates? Darn good hitter. Darn good hitter. Him and Bill Madlock were really good hitters who just don't seem to get quite the love. And I know Dave Parker's not in the Hall of Fame. Probably should be. But, uh, you know, these two guys, Bill Madlock and Al Oliver, could really hit as well. So there he is on, like, a deck of card, playing card there. There's the 72 and the 71. That's the World Series year. Good stuff. Real nice-looking card there. Newer card there. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so there's your 70. That looks pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, the Stuart Foods card. Yeah, that's 7. I, I, I really do like the 75. I didn't like them for a while, but I like them now. 
Oh yeah. I think this was from 1984, if I recall. They did cards like this. And that was 83. Oh, yep, 83. And then I'd sent the Doc Medics to TTM a little while ago, and now all over finished it off. So, very cool. So, thank you, Guy, for doing that. The next two stacks were put through a promoter, promoter Jamie Bly. Got ten cards from Mike Lavalier Spanky, who is also a Gold Glove winner. Not quite the accolades of Al Oliver, that's for sure. But uh, I enjoyed watching him when I was a kiddo. So I picked out some cards I would really like to get signed, as I have so many Mike Lavalier cards. So you can see why I picked some of these are pretty cool looking. There's that trait. There are deck of cards again. There's a gold card. But the next three cards are like the reason why I really, really wanted to send this out. Already signed by Sid Bream. Collector's Choice card. And Mike Lavalier added the inscription. He was out. That is so appreciated. Dude. That's amazing. Thank you, Mike Lavalier. Thank you, Spanky. Oh, there's one here, too. Oh, that's right. They had a silver facsimile card there, with, and also signed by Sid Bream. And there's Mike Lavalier with the He Was Out inscription. And the gold facsimile. I got all three of these. It's like, that is amazing. Like I said, this video is just awesome. Uh, I upload a trading card video on Mondays. I upload autograph. No, I upload a TTM video on Monday. Getting ahead of myself there. TTM Mondays. I upload an autograph or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. This video just hits everything. Also through Jamie Bly was Rick Rushel, and I sent 10 cards to Rick Rushel as well because I really wanted this one signed. It was already signed by Paul Rushel. There's Paul Rushel, but labeled over here, so Paul Rushel signed here. Well, Polish will sign there, but that's really... Yeah, they got the names backwards here. Anyway, Rick Rushel in black Sharpie and the rest in blue Sharpie. Jamie, thank you for taking care of making sure the correct marker was used. So I got a total of 10 cards signed by Rick Rushel with that first one I showed you being the biggie, obviously. That's a nice card. The Coca-Cola card. Tops American Pie card. There's that 88 Donruss, that pretty one. And there we go. Yeah, he was a gold glover for a couple of years, as was Spanky for one year. All right, on to the game-used baseballs. So this was already signed by Colin Moran. It's authenticated as a hit-by-pitch. This hit Colin Moran. <laughs> it was also Austin Meadows' MLB debut. I personally got this signed in person by Colin Moran. And I had signed underneath the sweet spot because I wanted to get signed by Austin Meadows. And, of course, they traded Austin Meadows, which is... Let's not go there. But he added the inscription I asked for, MLB debut, 5 1818 because this is a game from his debut game. It's a hit-by-pitch of Colin Moran, which I do like the hit-by-pitch balls, so that's awesome. Philip Walls put this on through LGC Sports Marketing. I really appreciate that, Philip. That turned out great, as did the other game used baseball that I sent. It was already signed in person by me, by Jordy Mercer. Jordy Mercer added the inscription back to back triples. There's Austin Meadows right underneath it. And the reason for this this baseball is authenticated as. The Jordy Mercer RBI triple scoring Meadows. Austin Meadows hit a triple. And then Jordy Mercer followed up with a triple. And this is the triple that Mercer hit. Scoring Austin Meadows. Like, how awesome and complete. That is a complete baseball, as is the other one. Dang, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Much appreciated. And the last one, the 36th autograph to show you. This is not the private signing person. That, I believe, is Migvelis Castellanos, something along that name there, who was the girlfriend of Francisco Cervelli at the time, when Francisco Cervelli had a signing at the baseball, or uh, Dave and Brian Collector Den. She was there, and I happened to notice that at that store, they also got a baseball signed by, quote-unquote, Mrs. Francisco Cervelli. 
Well, I bought that because, you know, I really enjoyed Francisco Cervelli. And then I got him to sign that with the Vita Bella inscription. Thank you, Matt Leibin, who put this on. He has ML Sports Enterprises sent this little card here. So thank you, Matt Leibin. I always appreciate that. Thank you for the good deal, and thanks for completing a very unique baseball. Oh, my gosh. That's a very unique dual-signed item. The Pittsburgh fans can tell you Francisco Cervelli was really appreciated. You know, I really appreciate him. He was very fiery, very passionate. The ladies liked him a lot. So that this baseball is just so awesome. So you have your amusement with Dick Pohl. You got your local guy, John Burkett. You got a magazine that I've been wanting to get signed for a long time. You got Al Oliver cards with definitely my favorite one being that dual sign card now. Mike Lavalier Spanky, who I enjoyed watching as a kid, who had, oh my gosh, I'm going to come back to this. These, all three of them. There's no other variation that I'm aware of. You got your gold facsimile, your silver facsimile, and your standard one there, all signed now. Dual completed. The Rick Russell sign, you got the brothers dual project done. You got the Colin Moran hit by pitch Austin Meadows debut game ball. You got the back to back Jordy Mercer Austin Meadows triples ball completed. And then I got the Francisco Cervelli and his girlfriend dual sign baseball. Oh my gosh, this video is amazing. I mean, I just can't tell you much enough how much I was looking forward to making this video. I hope you enjoy it as well. I upload three videos a week. TTM video on Monday, autograph and trading card video on Wednesday, which would be this. And I really would appreciate hearing your feedback. I'd appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what was your favorite or favorites. Like I said, I was really looking forward to this video, and I hope you enjoy it. Take care, everybody.